Hi, you guys. So today is the last day of um, any academic work uh, for first grade. So after this, my friends, you guys are on summer vacation. I just want to say that I'm so proud of you guys. You guys have worked so hard. You guys have been so flexible with everything that's been going on. And I am just so proud of you guys and I, I miss you. Um, and so I just wanted to give you a quick little update. Um, next week on Thursday and Friday, I am planning on stopping by your house to say hello, to say goodbye, drop off a little gift that I have for you guys. Um, it's just something to, to show you that, you know, I will always be with you. I will always support you guys. And I'm so proud of you guys and everything that you guys have accomplished this, this year in first grade. Um, you guys have made my first year of teaching one to remember, that's for sure. So I'm so grateful to have you guys in my life. Um, I have some stories that I will be reading. I'm going to post them in four different um, videos. So you can kind of click on which one you want to read or which one you want to listen to. Um, and then after that, my friends, you guys are moving on to summer vacation and then second grade. So the first one I have is called Last Day Blues. This is pretty appropriate for today. It's by Julie Dannenberg and illustrated by Judy Love. Hmm, I wonder what the author does. Does anyone remember? What does the author do? Hmm. If you said that they write the story, then you are correct. What does the illustrator do? If you said that they draw the pictures, then you are correct. So it's called Last Day Blues. This, this author is also the one who um, wrote First Day Jitters, which is the story that I read you on the very first day of school. So I thought it was pretty fitting. On Monday morning before the Friday was the last day of school. Mrs. Hartwell took attendance. She sighed as she called out the last name. I'm going to miss all of you, she said. The kids nodded in agreement. I'm going to miss my friends, said Shannon. I'm going to miss Daisy, said Dan. I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch, said Joe. Everyone felt a little blue thinking about the last day of school, even Daisy. That afternoon during recess, the students talked as they hung out on the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell said she's going to miss us, said Alexandra, swinging from a bar. We should get a present to cheer her up, said Eddie, hanging upside down by his knees. But what could they get her? I could give her the rest of my sandwich. It's my mom's bologna special, said Josh. Or a cup of coffee. Or a new pen, the kind with feathers and beads on it. The students thought and thought, but couldn't come up with one single idea that they all agreed on. We'll think of something tomorrow, Eddie assured everyone as they lined up at the drinking fountain. On the Tuesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell read the final page of their last read aloud book. I'm gonna miss circle time, said Mrs. Hartwell. I'm gonna miss science, said Emily. I'm gonna miss seeing Mrs. Hartwell wear her safety goggles during science, said Jack giggling. And so before they got too sad, Mrs. Hartwell put on her safety goggles one last time, just for fun. We definitely need to cheer Mrs. Hartwell up, said Andy during recess as he jumped out of a swing. Any ideas about a present, Eddie asked. Nope, they all answered back. On the Wednesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell brought in her super duper sugar cookies with extra frosting. I'm going to miss snack time, but I can't wait for barbecues by the pool, said Jack. I'm gonna miss recess, but I can't wait to play hide and seek outside after dinner, said Alexandra. I'll miss school, but I can't wait for summer vacation, said Josh. The class discussed their summer plans and drowned their last day blues with another round of milk and sugar cookies. I don't
not know whether to be happy or sad, Andy said the minute they all arrived at the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell is sad, said Olivia. She probably doesn't want the year to end. While we're swimming, she'll be reading her old lesson plans, said Walker. And while we're playing, she'll be trying to remember the fun times we had this year, said Dan. And that's when an idea zipped, zapped, and zinged through Eddie's brain. I know exactly what will cheer her up, Eddie said, jumping down from the jungle gym. The class agreed. It was perfect. What do you think they're thinking of? Hmm. What do you think they're thinking of getting their teacher? Hmm. I know. On the Thursday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Eddie raised his hand right after Mrs. Hartwell started language arts. We need some privacy, please, he said. And so Mrs. Hartwell took down bulletin boards with her back to the class. She never even peeked. Well, only once. On the morning of the Friday, that was the Friday, that was the last day of school, the students dashed into the classroom. They snapped open the shades for the very last time. They did their chores for the very last time. They fed Daisy for the very last time. And as soon as the bell rang, they couldn't wait for Mrs. Hartwell to see her present for the very first time. It says, the last day of school makes us so blue. We'll miss recess and pizza and reading too. We'll miss Daisy and cookies and friendship true. Snack time in science and learning new. We'll miss spelling bees for our test review and groundhogs that play peekaboo. The year's been great, a big wahoo. There are many things to miss, it's true, but mostly what we'll miss is you. They made her a poem. With, the, of course, a lot of drawings. Later on during recess, Eddie said, I think Mrs. Hartwell liked her present. I just hope it helps, Margaret said. Poor Mrs. Hartwell. They all said sadly as they pictured their final goodbye. Teachers must hate the last day of school. And then it was time. The bell rang. Goodbye, the students called as they rushed out the door. Goodbye, Mrs. Hartwell called after them. And then she returned to her empty classroom. It's just you and me, Daisy, she said. I'm sure going to miss them this summer. But I can't wait for vacation. The end. So that is the last day blues. And I know that we are not able to be all together on our last day, but I definitely am feeling a little blue. Um, I am going to miss you guys so much and I cannot wait to see your cute little faces when I drop off your gifts. And I can't wait to see you guys next year.